Hey guys, Victoria here and welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'll be sharing all my last mini tips on how to get that A plus for your chemistry paper in SPM. So I checked the timetable and chemistry is actually the last subject for a science stream student and I remember that in my year, chemistry was my last paper as well. So you just have to make it through this paper and then you're free for a very long time. Okay, now let's get right into my first tip, which is to pay attention to certain terminologies when it comes to answering paper 2 and paper 3. And what I mean by this is, for example, when it comes to rate of reaction, you can only write that the rate of reaction is higher or lower. It is not faster or slower. These are the things which will um, make you lose marks. So do pay attention to this. And then another example is the purple color disappear. That is actually wrong. You're going to write purple color decolorizes, not disappear. And another one is that instead of writing H plus increase, you should write the concentration of H plus increases. So these are the little things that you need to take note of. Number two is to know how to balance chemical equations. And I hope that you know how to do this by now. Chemical equations are definitely a huge part of chemistry. It is a very important part. And most people struggle with chemistry because they can't write or balance chemical equations. And I have made a 16 minute video on how to write and balance chemical equations. And I have listed down all the possible chemical reactions like when acid is added to base, you get salt and water. If acid is added to another thing, you get something else. I have covered all that in that video, so you can go watch that if you want to. I'll leave a link in the description box below. But chemical equations are really such a huge part of chemistry, and I hope that you are clear with it by now. But if not, then use some time to go through and learn from whichever source you find is the best. Number three is when writing observations, make sure that you go from initial to final always. So I have two examples to explain this. And the first one is for litmus paper. So for litmus paper, instead of writing that moist litmus paper turns red, you're going to write moist litmus paper turns from blue to red. Or you can write blue moist litmus paper turns red. Either that or that, but you have to make sure that you mention from what to what. Another example that I have for you is acidified potassium permanganate 7. Instead of writing that this solution turns colorless, you have to write that acidified potassium permanganate 7 turns from purple to colorless. Um, these are the things that you need to take note of when writing observations in order to get full marks for observations. Before, I'm just going to talk a little bit about experiments and in chemistry, there are a lot of experiments that you have to memorize and unlike biology, where not knowing experiments will maybe um, let you lose around 6 marks in paper 3, um, experiments in chemistry are actually different because they will be tested in paper 2 as well as in paper 3, so the chemistry experiments are all really important. And the way that I memorize um, chemistry experiments is I would memorize the diagrams first. So from the diagram, I can visualize how to do this experiment well, how to do this experiment properly, and I can know the first step to the last step from the diagram itself. So now you can prepare a little something called like the experiment plans. Instead of essay plans, these are experiment plans. So what you can do is you can write down the name of the experiment, like rate of reaction, and you can draw out the experiment. You don't need to write out all the steps because there might not be time for that. Instead of doing that, you can just write down the title of the experiment and draw the diagram and then write down the other title and draw the diagram. Do this for all the experiments in Form 4 and Form 5, all the experiments in the syllabus. And 